The force of inertia is known in mechanics, but until only recently, it had been considered too weak and difficult to harness for propulsion. According to some theorists, like Hal Puthoff, inertia, like gravity, is what occurs when we try to accelerate an object against the zero-point fluctuations in the vacuum. We run into resistance, literally. Canadian inventor Roy Thonson has developed an inertial impulse propulsion engine which overcomes that resistance using centrifugal force. It pushes against nothing and emits no exhaust, but it's been calculated to be 20 times more efficient than a jet engine. Here, the Thornson inertial propulsion drive powers a canoe in a swimming pool. The motor, which is housed in a box, never contacts the water or air. In the pendulum test, unidirectional force is being generated to keep the pendulum to one side. Whether or not uh, we can demonstrate, as I have, with engineering analysis and um, and models that will climb and incline will pass us a pendulum test, in other words, stay on one side of the pendulum consistently, and even power a canoe in a swimming pool. Commercialization of that device is still a, a very difficult road. And we see that in many inventions, but what I like to emphasize is my F over P uh, measurement of that is literally 20 times better than the jet engine. A jet engine, typically a commercial jet engine, um, the DC-9, I think, is the one that I analyzed, has about 0.016 newtons per watt. And then the, this is in the metric system. Now, when we look at the Thornson, he's able to achieve 0 0.3, 0 0.32 newtons per watt, literally 20 times better than the uh, jet engine. Roy Thornson is developing refinements to his system to increase its performance. Unfortunately, like many inventors, even with a U.S. patent in hand, he has yet to find sufficient investment capital to bring his motor to the marketplace. Propulsion force does in fact exist. So